here. You've been here six years, overtime winner in the Calder Cup Finals. How does that feel for you? Uh, and give me one second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. How's it feel? Uh, pretty amazing right now. I mean, it still hasn't really settled down. I think, you know, any overtime goal like that is real special, but being game five uh, in overtime is, is definitely huge and a big, big for our team. You know the history of this franchise. Uh, to be in this moment with your teammates, with guys you've wanted to play with as long as possible, you're going to game six in California. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, especially being down 2 nothing in the series, I think our group showed a lot of resilience and really stuck together through those times when I think a lot of people might have counted us out at the start there, so I mean, it just shows the resilience our team has. Dylan, you've won three one-goal games to take the lead in this series. What does that say about just the grit and the effort on this team? I mean, we've shown it all season. It's uh, Goals are hard to come by with our group, but we, we win those one-goal games, and even if we're down by a goal going into the third, we have the confidence that we know we can come back, and we're always in the fight. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's paid off. Uh, we went through some adversity earlier in the season, and then we can just lean on each other in moments like this. Lesser teams might have panicked being down 0 2. Why not you guys, do you think? Well, we knew we hadn't played our best hockey. Um, it would have been discouraging if we, we had and, and we had nothing, but we knew we had more to give. And then getting the boost coming home and being in front of this amazing crowd, and we, we knew we had to give it our best effort, and we, we tried to do that in those two games. Is that, is that a credit to the leadership on the, on the team, or was that something Coach Nelson kind of said about, hey, he seemed pretty calm out in California as well. Yeah, it's all of it. It's uh, the coaching staff preparing us and just the whole room believing in our in our game and knowing that we can do this. Um, starts with the leadership, obviously, but even our young guys, they're they're mature beyond their years, and um, it's it's a lot of fun going to battle with these guys. Uh, you kind of show some different aspects of your game tonight. Crashing hard in the net. I know we don't see you down there there that much jumping in on plays on the offense. So was that just kind of the opportunity presented itself, or was that you realizing trying to take advantage of, of some things that maybe they were giving you? Yeah, I mean, I'm defense first, obviously. Uh, but yeah, it's you, you got to play hockey and, and I try to any moment that I can contribute. And I see a lane, I'm going to try to take it. But obviously, I'm defense first guy. But yeah, just trying to create. It's a it's a zero zero game. And, Trying to get one. We've talked about different guys every night, and that doesn't always mean goals. I wanted to hear what you both had to say about Logan Day's play at the blue line that starts kind of turning up into the game winner because it seemed like a heck of a play. Yeah, I mean, those are the little things that maybe you don't notice are going to be, you know, the difference maker in a game like that. And when those things happen, and the guy keeps the puck in with two guys around him, it's it's a huge thing that then seems to always lead to something. So it's it's a great play by him, and he's been playing great hockey for us all playoffs. And you know, our, our whole team right now has been just kind of a solid unit, and that's something that we want in playoffs, especially in finals. Garrett, walk me through your feelings uh, after you scored your goal at the end there. Didn't catch my breath for a little bit. Got got swarmed by all the guys. I mean, it was, it was a great feeling. Cut that out. <laughs> no, it was, it was great. I mean, like, it was crazy. The fans were nuts. It was really surreal, and I probably blacked out for a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, it was great. I mean, our team is real close, and I think, you know, to have that and to win a one nothing game, we're all bunkered down, playing our best hockey and playing hard, it's it's super rewarding that we were able to pull this one off. Dylan, you've been in this situation before with the chance to win Calder Cup going into that game. How do you impart that wisdom upon your teammates uh, as you guys head back for the big game Monday? Yeah, it's it's obviously fun to enjoy this win in front of our home crowd, but it's cliche, but that fourth game is the hardest to win. Um, they're going to be hungry going back home in front of their families and, and fans, so we got to take this momentum with us and do everything we can. And you're going back to a building. Obviously, we did struggle the first two games, but with a chance to hoist the cup that Monday night, what's different about going back there for you guys now, do you think? Well, we know what it's all about. We, we've been in the city now. We've been in the locker room. It, it was all new and might have been a little strange uh, playing a team for the first time. And so we're going to, I mean, we try to forget about those two games down there, but we can learn um, that we can win these tight games and hopefully uh, get, get the job done. Yeah, just going off of Ian's question on the celebration. So the face mask was all fogged up, so yeah, I can imagine it's hard to breathe. And you've taken some pretty big hits, given some pretty big hits. It looked like they were actually, as, as uh, Scott said, you know, pre-pounding you and they're taking some body shots. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, everyone's definitely really excited and the adrenaline's rushing, I think. 
you know, when everyone's dogpiling, it's, you're just stuck in that moment for a little bit. So yeah, it definitely took a while to catch my breath, but yeah, probably took a couple of hits for sure. Did you guys take offense that maybe a lot of people in sports writers, you know, were writing you guys off and the league said in the cup here, you know? I mean, not necessarily. I mean, everyone kind of knows that there's outside media and stuff that's going to be saying certain things with us going down 0-2 and getting shut out, especially the first two games. But at the same time, our, our group knew that we could stick with it. And it was a seven game series. John asked you guys out there, even after, you know, the losses, how much fun were you guys having? You guys seem to be having, you know, it's fun. You were playing hockey and doing, how much fun was it? And or how much fun is it these last three games? Yeah, I mean, I don't think you're gonna have success if you're gonna be hanging your head and moping around. I think that was the big thing for our group was still be confident and still enjoy ourselves. Cause I mean, you play hockey in June, there's nothing more, especially in front of these fans and everything. You really got to relax for the moment. This is, this was your final game at home this season. What do you want to say to fans after tonight's game? Me, you. I mean, thank you. I mean, the support, I mean, the history here, everyone knows about it, and the support we've gotten all season, and especially in these playoffs, it's it means a, a ton. I mean, they had our, they were the seventh man out there tonight, and we got us through it, and it was uh, fun just looking in the crowd after that OT win and, and enjoying it with everyone in the crowd. Yeah, I mean, they were especially great this series. I mean, coming out in warm-ups and coming out for that, uh, for the drop of the puck there was, was pretty special with the rally towels and everything like that. It definitely got my adrenaline pumping. And you know, that sort of thing helps so much, I think, for our group, just to have them cheering and stuff for a hit and all that sort of thing that I think really uh, motivated our group. We'll take two more questions, guys. Unless anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys.